pag-uusapan natin yung CPR, mm -hmm. hands-only CPR para sa mga lay persons okay. um, at saka kung anong gagawin kapag merong nagchuchok. And um, mag Usap, Pag-usapan din natin yung um, tinatawag natin um, automatic external defibrillators kung anong kahalagahan nun sa atin. Ayun. So, Doc, umpisahan po natin dun sa CPR. Yeah. Kasi alam po natin na meron po talagang proper way na ginagawa. Mm. So, okay. can you run through us po dun, Doc? Okay. So, for um, meron kasing talagang training for mm -hmm. that. no Especially for healthcare providers. Um, pero for the lay person, yeah. um, may tinatawag tayong hands-only CPR. So, yun yung ina-advocate natin for those who are not trained to do um, the, the CPR or the um, basic life support. No? So, um, first thing that we have to do if we see someone na unconscious is, mm -hmm. unang-una, titingnan muna natin kung safe ba. Safe ba siyang lapitan? No? Kasi minsan, um, ano pala, toxic pala or aksidente pala to or magiging hazardous for yourself, makakompromising safety mo. So, mm -hmm. kailangan make sure na you are safe first before you help another person. And then, um, when you're sure that the scene is safe already, mm -hmm. you approach the person and then check mo kung nagre-respond ba siya. Uh -huh. So, I think nakita natin sa TV na, hey, hey, are you okay? Tinatap nila, tinatap nila. Ganun, para i-check kung humihinga pa ba yung patient. Mm -hmm. no? Kung hindi humihinga or hindi nagre-respond yung patient, um, we, we call for help. So, kung, kung nasa street ka lang, kung may nakita kang tao, or kung may cellphone ka, you can call the ambulance, a doctor, or a rescuer, gano'n. And then after that, um, you, ano na, you, you, after you call for help, you can start now with your um, hands-only CPR. So, what you do is you place your, the heel of your palm of on the middle of the chest of the patient. Middle of the chest. Okay, and then you interlock your, um, interlock your fingers. Tapos dapat diretsong diretsa siya. Wala naman po ba, Doc, na parang yung dominant hand mo, yung nandun sa chest, or...? Um, usually, it's the left hand ah, left sa ilalim, hand. and then the right hand sa iba okay. okay? And then, dapat straight, straight elbows, straight no? Elbow. And then, you have to push hard and fast. Okay? Push hard and fast. P push hard and fast. So, for the um, hands-only CPR, since hands-only nga siya, hindi naman kailangan mag... Um, um, yung tatawag natin mouth-to-mouth sa resuscitation, mm. lalo na kung hindi ka trained to do it. Yes. No? Kasi ang, ang importante, pag when you're doing the CPR, you're actually buying time for the patient. Mm -hmm. Ikaw yung nagpop-pump ng blood okay. sa circulation ng patient. Nag May rhythm po yun, Doc, di ba? Yung, yung pag-push okay. yeah, hard so, and fast. Yes, pushing hard and fast. Um, ideally, dapat makaka-100 um, pumps ka in one minute. In minute. So, kung alam yung song na Staying Alive. Ooh. So, you just, Alive. yes, yun. Ah, so, ah, ah, yes, ah. yeah. So, pwede yung sundan yung rhythm nun. Yun. So, yun yung um, proper, um, yung counting. Mm -hmm. Counting when you do the CPR. Pero, Doc, curious po kasi, oh, hindi naman, parang hindi naman po yata lahat dapat is CPR. So, kailan po naman alaman ng mga, kunyari, nung mga nag-train na, paano, mm -hmm. kailan po ba applicable na gamitan ng CPR lang ang isang tao na kailangan ng first aid? Okay. So, kung may nakita tayong unconscious na patient, um, we check for the breathing. No? Breathing. So, hindi siya nag-breathe. After you check for the breathing, you check naman for the pulse. So, kung wala siyang pulse, no, um, pwede ka na mag-start ng CPR. Yeah. So, saan po ba ang, mag ang pinaka parang mas accurate na mag-check ng pulse ba? Sa wrist po ba? Or sa, saan po yung mas madali na malaman? Um, ang pinaka-accessible kasi is the carotid pulse. Mm -hmm. So, di, so you check only on one side. Mm -hmm. no? Kasi meron tayo both sides. Mm -hmm. okay, so, you check on one side um, kung wala kang makapang pulse or you're not sure after 10 seconds of checking na wala kang makapa, you can start your CPR already, especially if the patient is not responding. Pero what if, Doc, if children naman po, or baby po? Kasi iba rin po yung CPR na ginagawa po sa kanila, di ba? Okay. So, depende yan sa age ng, mm. ng, ng babies, no? Um, kapag ka newborn, um, kasha pa sila sa ano natin eh both hands. Up. So, pwede pang i-encircle and then, same lang din yung pag thumb lang pa. Thumb. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Pwede din na yung two fingers mo. Ganun naman. Same lang din po, 100 Same lang kasi um, for, for, there's a proper training for that for healthcare providers. If you're a lay person, you can do yung hands-only CPR. Hands -only. That's what we advocate for the lay people. Pero yung usually po, pagkaka 
sa mga si pagka ginagawa ng procedure ng CPR gaano katagal or gaano katagal na kailangan i CPR or may limit po ba na hanggang ganito lang kasi baka mamaya matroma naman yung air in chest area yes yeah. so kasi may mang, may mga um, kaakibat na complications mm -hmm. and pag nag CPR pwede kang magfracture mm -hmm. no um, pero kasi when you do your CPR you can stop your CPR already if una kung nagrespond na yung patient mm -hmm. Pangalawa, kung exhausted na yung nagpa-pump. Okay? Kaya mapapansin ninyo sa hospital, nagsiswitch. Uh -huh. no? Pero kasi kung nasa ibang setting outside of the hospital, um, kung exhausted na, baka hindi na effective yung pagpa-pump. So, mas maganda kung meron kang kapalitan na mag-pump.